we've established this hotline service, this call center. The idea is that procurement practitioners, both in the public and private sectors, can be able to call on us when they have questions or when they have queries. And in the time, we can address those queries and be able to answer them. It is also very important to note that what this facility establishment has been able to do is that it's giving us the opportunity to expand our services to areas that we're not physically located, like in the counties. So right now, we're receiving calls from around the country, from different procurement offices that are not stationed in Monrovia, with queries that we can answer in real time. You can clearly see that when the calls come in, they're answered, and then whatever the issues are, the agents here can then create a ticket, you know, from the queries that are raised, and then those tickets can be created. If they can respond to them in this uh, cubicle, then it is assigned to an appropriate staff who will be able to take it over and work on it. So the, uh, it's also important to know that the charges for these calls are reversed. So we undertake to pay for those calls that are made here. This way, we hope that we can lessen the burden of callers and we can encourage more people to be able to call so that in real time, they can be able to get the responses that they need and then their work can be enhanced. This is also another um, area for hand holding. So normally people come and they're still they're having problems with how to do their procurement plans or how to do a specific tender. They come here and we provide a hand holding service where in real time we sit with them, our technicians sit with them, as you can see it's happening now, to be able to drive them through the process that they've come here. This is uh, section two of the hand holding. There's another section that we're going to show you also, which was again uh, established through the kind assistance of UNDP. Hello. Yes, um,